mum is a kitchen goddess. How does she make this yogurt? Who knows, but we've got to get going. Biology exam today, remember? There's plenty of time for that. I don't want to miss it. I've studied all weekend. So what's the flavour? Is it blueberry or...? You two haven't studied, have you? No. Does it show? I only managed 20 minutes and every minute was agony. You're hopeless. So, can we go? Alright, alright. Such a stress head. Nothing to worry about. I checked the weather report and it's meant to clear up. We wouldn't even make it to the street without growing tails. So turning into a mermaid isn't an option. We have to stay here. We can't just sit here. I studied all Saturday and Sunday for this again. Relax, there will be others. It's not funny. Why are you girls still here? There's a typhoon outside. It's bucketing down. We're stuck. Well, I'll drive you. The car's just out front. dizzy and I've got a headache and my tummy hurts really bad and <coughs> a cough. It, it's really hot. Is it hater on? No. You might have a fever. Just wait here. Why did you fall down like that? I don't know. It just came to me. Brilliant, huh? Award-winning performance. Someone had to think of something. So, do you have any plan happening here? I'm making it up as I go along. Here we go. Um, do I have to? Mum, I don't really think she has a temperature. Well, we'll wait and see, won't we? What's wrong? Oh, there's nothing wrong. You just stay here and relax. I hate lying to my mum. We have a family policy to always tell the truth. Have you told her you're a mermaid? No. So it's a flexible policy, you might say. Yes, darling, I thought that too. All right. Yes, you do that. OK, bye-bye. That was Neil. He's just going to call a doctor. Uh, you don't have to do that. I'm fine, really. It's it's not that serious. People don't faint without a reason, especially young, healthy girls. You just stay there and don't move. You two, on the other hand, have to get to school, but I will call your parents first. Got to do something. All right, come on, girls, let's get going. Oh no, I'm feeling dizzy and hot. I think I've developed a cough. <gasps> this must be very bad. You and Ella never get sick. Come to think of it, I'm, I'm feeling a bit hot myself. Wait, now I'm cold. No, hot again. Me too. Hot and cold flushes. This is terrible. How could you all come down with something so quickly? I'm going to 
unless you write something. Did you all eat the yogurt? Eat any of that yogurt. This is good. Why? Because I haven't been sick in three years. I've forgotten what it felt like. Actually, I don't feel any different. That'll be the doctor. My life as I know it is over. Mum's never going to trust me again. Oh, please. Oh, Miranda, thank you so much for coming. I am a little worried. It's probably nothing more than a cold, Lisa. Never has to check these things out. It's the first time I've noticed it. They've also had some stomach cramps and some dizziness. said on the phone their temperatures have been very high. Yes. Interesting. Now they're very low. Fortunately, Elliot is okay so far. But I'm sick, right, Mum? And I haven't been sick for three years. Do you think that my homemade yogurt might have done all this? Oh, playing with bacteria can be tricky. You mean all this could be my fault? Well, it's not a cold or flu. Look, I don't want to alarm you, but I'm concerned about the girl's skin condition. I'd like to consult one or two of my colleagues. I say we give it an hour or two until the rain stops, then we make a miraculous recovery, maybe? Maybe we could get Dr Holt to write us a medical certificate. Then we'd get another chance at the exam. Let it go, Anne. I left work as soon as I could. This could all be my fault. We think it might be the homemade yoghurt. But I had the yoghurt this morning. Come to think of it, though, I, I haven't been feeling all that great myself. I've been talking to a viral specialist. His symptoms are very unusual, but specific to a group of tropical diseases. What does that mean? It's not food poisoning. Whatever this is, it's highly contagious, likely. No one comes in or goes out. Now, just look this way. Hmm. Going to need some samples of sputum. Is that as gross as it sounds? Spit. In there. Oh, wimps. Thank you. It's been fun, but if you've got what you need, we need some rest. Oh, I'm not done yet. I need some more samples. Blood samples. Um, is that really necessary? Oh, yes. We need to know your white cell count. So it's imperative. Well, it's a funny thing, because I actually feel perfectly fine now. Me too. Girls, if this is what I think it is, it's a very tricky virus. I've never seen anything like it before. It's very important that I find out everything there is to know about you three. So, sleeves up. Who is it? Uh, it's me, Mr Gilbert Lewis. Listen carefully to what I say. Stand ten paces back from the door. Um, 
the girls here because they're not at school. Forget the girls, just leave now while you can. Well, when can I see them? I... What's going on? The house is quarantined. Tell my teacher I'm sick. She'll be really surprised. Go now, hurry. Explain it. How are you girls feeling? Any more fevers? Uh, did you want to say fever? Is everything all right? How's your dizziness? No. Now, I want you girls to stay in here until we get test results, all right? Tess, Emma, what is going on? Look, Lewis, it's not what it seems, Lewis. It's really... Very sorry, Emma, but Dr Holt said specifically to be no outside stimulation, all right? Emma! Emma! <laughs> The infectious disease unit is sending someone over. That sounds serious. You can never be too careful with something like this. In the meantime, we must all remain calm. Elliot, don't open the... Elliot, no! Don't, don't open the... Oh, there, Donald, you just... Um, oh, thanks for calling, Lisa. I've left a message for Ricky's father, but we all have to come straight over. I realise you're concerned parents. I'm a parent myself. But by entering, you've just committed yourselves to isolation. And you are... Dr Holt, family doctor. Where's Cleo? Resting. That's all she needs right now. Well, Cleo needs is her mother. Hot towels and eucalyptus oil always fix the girls when they're little. Don, bring your thing to the kitchen. This is such a joke. I bet you there's nothing wrong with them. The doctor said we're sick. It's a scam, Elliot. They're trying to get out of that exam. I'll prove it. No, you get the virus. There's no virus. Lewis, how did you get in? The back door. What's going on? Is everyone all right? Well, it started to rain, so I fainted. Now you're in quarantine. You guys do things the easy way, don't you? Are you decent? I'm coming in. Cleo, oh, poor sweetheart. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, no. You want the towels? Mm -hmm. Oh, what are these? They stink. And they're wet. And I bought the humidifier. No. <sighs> Where's a socket? There. Now you can breathe the air in here. Now, who would like one of my special foot massages? No, 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 thanks. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think those towels would work. <clears throat> Don't sit there. Um, I spilled a drink earlier and it's still down. You OK, Dally? We're fine, Dad. Oh, she feels normal. See? She's faking it. Oh, Cleo's sick, Kim. Anybody can see that. Uh, Mum, can we please have some privacy? Emma's right. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you all to leave. Excitement can be detrimental to recovery. We'll just be outside, love. Just call if you need anything. Thank you, Doctor. So, um, you'll be staying then? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't suppose any of you have been in contact with chickens or pigs in the last few days? I had a ham sandwich. Has anyone recently returned from the tropics? <sighs> I suppose the infectious diseases unit will tell us more. What? I'm sure the test will tell us everything that we have to know. Exactly where they should be. It's odd. That's good. So, um, we're getting better then? Possibly good. Possibly just get some rest. Liars never prosper. That's cheats, Lewis. Lewis is right, we shouldn't have lied. Okay, quick, please, some dry towels. I don't want to alarm you, but there are various possibilities. Dengue fever, malaria, bird flu. 
I assure you, whatever it is, we will find it out. That'll be the nurse. Ask Pathology to fast track these. I need the results ASAP. And bring them back personally. Yes, Dr. Holt. This whole thing is fake. Emma wouldn't fake it. Besides, we have a family policy. We don't lie to each other. Just hold still, I'm nearly there. That bit's still to die. This bit's still wet. Wait, come on. And... That's it. Thanks, Lewis. You're a legend. Did I mention it? Guess what? Stop raining. It's all clear. Look, I've got to go if I'm going to make this exam. So, good luck with the plague. Let's get out of here. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Lewis, they're having a party. Kim, do you think it's fair to play these games on your sister when she's obviously very sick? Is everything all right? Hope so, because we're feeling fine. It was those hot towels, Mrs. Satori. Yep, miraculous recovery. So, we'll be heading off to school now. See ya. You can't leave. Walk out that door and I'll have to quarantine the whole street. I'm not feeling very well. I'm feeling hot. Don't bother faking, Elliot. No one's really sick have to follow this through. We need a lot more tests, tissue biopsies, detailed blood analysis. Leave a few specimen jars and we'll send them to you later. Bye. Please remain calm. Who are you? Professor Gorman. Infectious Diseases Containment Unit. We're here to escort everybody to a specialist hospital facility. We can't let them take us. They'll find out we're mermaids in no time. Then they'll really start running some tests. Emma, girls, come on, open up, please. Anyone got any ideas? Let me think. Nothing. It's gonna be okay. Please open the door. What are we doing? This is hopeless. Emma, don't say that. I was counting on you. We can't get out of this. There's only one thing we can do. You are not putting me into one of those hoods. I'm claustrophobic. And I'm completely recovered now. I don't need to go to hospital. Ricky, I'm sorry. Will you please just do what they say? Just relax. This will be all over soon. Stop! Something I've got to say. I should have known we'd get into trouble by lying. It never solves problems. It only causes them. Emma? No. Ricky, I'm coming clean. Telling them everything. Everything? everything? You should know, we were never really sick. We just faked it to get out of an exam. We never meant it to go this far. I'm sorry. I knew it. See? I was right. Nice try. Zip them up. Dr Holt? Hmm? She's right. I've come straight from the lab and the tests... All the tests are negative to any known viruses. There's nothing wrong with them. I don't understand her. This is a major outbreak of something. There was one test result that came back positive. Elliot Gilbert? See, I told you I wasn't feeling well. He's got the measles. The measles. 
Do you think you could look after that one on your own, Dr. Holt? Good news. Uh, everybody at school was so worried about you, they decided to postpone the exam. And they're holding a candlelight vigil instead. Right. I'm sorry, but I'm a little confused. Are you telling me that there was nothing wrong at all? I guess we'll never know. Medicine's a tricky business. going to do anything but dance for the next four hours. Me too. No rain, no excuses. A dance is perfect. I really need to get out. That was close today. Too close. We were an ambulance right away from being exhibited. Shh. Caught you. You are in big trouble. I dropped something. Liar. I've warned you about snooping around. What's that? You're all spotty. It's the measles. She's got Elliot's measles. The drink! It was a drink! <laughs> <laughs>